Yes, sir. So, are you able to see my screen now? Yes, sir. Okay, so this part we did, right? Let's just uh, recall and revise what we did. So, uh, we, wrote, we wrote two equations, right? Yes. Uh, you were in the second one, sir. Huh? Second question. Yes. So, do you want me to revise first and then do the second one or just... Yeah, we can revise. No, we can revise. Yes. So, this was the equation, right? Two yes, equations. Sir. And we solve graphically the solutions, right? Yes, so again, uh, we compared the ratios of this coefficients. So if this was the case, then this was what? Solution? Unique solution. Yes, unique one, right, right. So you remember, right. So unique solution, consistent. Right, so let's let me write just trap. So the second case equals to b1, b2, and not equals to c1, c2. So this was the parallel one, right? Yes, no solution. No solution. And what other thing? Inconsistent, Inconsistent. right? Yes, sir. And the other was what? All are all were equals. Yeah. Many solutions. Right, so many solutions. Quite, uh, consistent. Again, consistent. So if you have solution, then the solution is consistent, right? So this was just a quick uh, revision, right? And graphically, what we saw that if the lines were intersecting, then unique solution. If lines were parallel, no solution. Right. And if yes. uh, lines were coincident, so many solutions. Many solutions. Right. So now let's just, oh, so Tala has joined. Hi, Tala. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So I have found uh, one member of our anime family. So Rizwan yes. is also, <laughs> Rizwan is also anime geek, right? <laughs> So, three anime fans sitting together learning math, right? Okay. So... <laughs> okay, okay. So, let's just, uh, you remember this, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So, these condition, the condition uh, we did in the previous classes. So let's just do the questions. Okay. Just give me five minutes. I'll just give you a book. Okay, okay. In the meanwhile, we find the question. Why is it blank? Is it loading? Okay. Oh. Right. So where were we? Yes. Okay, so has Talha come? Yes. Okay, so let's just, uh, so we were doing the second question, right? Let me see. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So in your school, Talha, what uh, exercise they are doing? 
to me. My uh, they're, they're doing chapter two yet. And okay, so they are on chapter. I forgot they are on chapter two. In Rizwan yes. school, they are doing three point two and fourth question. Yes. Okay. No so, problem. Uh, so did we finish the second question, Talha Rizwan? Yes, sir. So with you, I have finished. Uh, Tala, did I do this second question? This second one, sir. Ten students, sir. Ah, yes, did it. Did it. Yes, we just have to compare this relation, right? Yes. So let's just move on to this part. Okay. And did I give some homework to you guys? I think the first question is the first one. First one or okay. Second? And did you guys do the yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, so you have done. So nice. Nice. Okay. So uh, let's just do this third question. Right. Yes. So what they are saying? The equation is what? 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals to 0, right? And uh, 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals to 0, right? Yes. So a1 is what? 3, b1 is 2, and c1 is minus 5, right? And a2 is what? 2, b2 is what? Minus 3, and c2 is minus 7, right? So now yes. they are asking about consistent and inconsistent, right? So, Talha, do you remember what was consistent? Sir, uh, cons consistent. Consistent, what I remember, uh, I, nah, sir, I don't. I, okay, so Rizwan, do you remember? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we just uh, discussed. Uh, uh, yeah. So if there is solution, right? If solution. Ah, like uh, intersecting or uh, coincident. Yes, thing? yes, okay. right, right. Yeah. So yeah. if there is a solution, so mm. then it is consistent, right? And if there is not a solution, so no solution means inconsistent. Right. So in two cases, you, you get solutions, right? For the coincident one and for the in intersecting one, right? Yes. Okay. So let's just uh, do this problem. So one is what? A1 by A2 is 3 by 2, right? B1 by B2 is what? Minus 3 by 2. Minus 2 by 3. Oh, minus 2 by 3, right. Minus 2 by 3, sorry. So minus 2 by 3. So we can see that A1 by A2 not equals to B1 by B2. Right. So this is, this has a solution, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So this is so this is yes. consistent, right? Okay. Because a1 not equals to b1 by b2 is a unique solution. So this is consistent. So these are intersecting, right? Yes. This is yes. the condition for the intersecting ones. So uh, now let's just compare this one. Second question, right? Understood this part? Yes. Okay. So, should I rub it? Are you guys one second, one down or? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Sir, what is below that consistent? Ah, uh, so no solutions. Sorry for oh. my uh, horrible no, no, no. <laughs> So this is no solution meaning inconsistent.
question. Okay. So the second question. So Talha is going to help me in finding the solution. Right. Okay. Okay. So first let's just calculate. Let's just write the general form, right? So general form is right. And uh, right. So what is A1? A1. Yes, two. B one is uh, three. minus three, right? Min oh, yeah, minus three. Yes. Minus and C one is what? Minus six. Hmm? Minus six. Right. A two yes. is what? Four. Four. B two yes. is what? Minus six. Minus six, and C two is what? Minus nine. Right. So let's just calculate the ratio. So A1 by A2 is what? 2 by 4, which is right. And B1 by B2 is what? Minus 3 by minus 6. So 1 by 2 again. Right. And C1 by C2 is what? Minus 8 by minus 9. Right. So this is what this is my eight by nine. Right. Mm -hmm. So we see that A1 by A2 is equal to or not equal to? A1 is equal to equal. equal. Yes. So equal to B1 by B2, not equal to C1 by C1. C1 by C1. So this is what? This is uh, that. Uh, uh, no solution with a palette. Yes, palette. yes, no solution. Palette. Right, right. So, no solution meaning what? Inconsistent. Palette. Yes, parallel meaning inconsistent. Right. Yes. So, this is clear, right? So, now Rizwan will help. Okay. Okay, so this question. Third or fifth? You choose, Rizwan. Um, third. Okay, so we'll do the third and fourth and fifth, your homework, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, two guys, two questions, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, did you note it down, uh, Talha? I just uh, writing that A1 equals okay. G1. So, uh, Rizwan is watching a Bongu stray dogs right now. Tala. Okay. You are missing. I am watching mm -hmm. Hell's Paradise. He is watching Bongu stray dogs. And you are what? Still quarantined not. to not watch. <laughs> <laughs> so Rizwan, uh, Tala is strictly prohibited to watch anime right now. <laughs> <laughs> Course. <laughs> you will get time, Sandeep Tala. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> okay, so did you note it down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Rizwan's. Okay. Okay, third question, right? Yes. So, uh, what is three? Yes, three by two and uh, plus five by three y and because minus seven. seven. Minus right. Seven. So, yes. this is in the fraction form. So, we will convert it to what? The non fraction one, right? Non yes, so, we will take the LCM two, three, and one. So, this yes, will be what? Yeah. Six, right? Yes. So two, three LCM is what? Two and three, one. So six, right? Yes. Uh, 
Okay, and what was the other equation? Nine x. Nine x minus ten y minus forty. Right. So let's just yes. first calculate. Uh, write a one. A one is what? Three by two. Three by two. B one is what? Five by three. Right. And C one is what? Minus. minus and a two is what? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. B two is what minus ten minus ten and C two is what minus forty minus minus forty right so A one by A two this will be what C by two divided two by nine right nine. yeah so two comes here right yes so this is what three by two A into two. nine so this is what one by six right one by six Yes, sir. Right, na? Yes. Sir. And what will be b one by b two? Um, so five by three divided by minus. 10. Right. So minus Oops. comes here. Five three comes five, here. Right. Three. So ten three. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. So this is what minus one by six. Minus one by right. six. Yes, sir. So we get what? We get a one. Right. So again, consistent. Consistent. Okay. Yes. So this is homework. Right. Okay. Now let us do the 
So, Talha, did you note it down? Because uh, yes, we already sir. got the answer, so... I'll yeah. write it as Ridwan's method, sir. Okay. <laughs> Ridwan's method, right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Talha, you live in uh, where? Is in Jeddah, sir. Jeddah is easy. Huh? Jeddah. So Jeddah. Jeddah. And uh, Ridwan? So, yeah. Riyadh. Yeah. Riyadh. Yeah. Oh, so those two places are very far apart, right? Yes. Because you, because you could have meet each other and <laughs> no, I, could have meet because, uh, I was in Riyadh. Okay, okay. Okay, Acha. So when you go Riyadh, uh, please meet uh, Rizwan, right? Inshallah. And talk about anime. Uh, yes. Inshallah. Yes. yes. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's do the fourth question. Okay, so did yes, you sir. note it down, Tala? Yes, sir. Okay. And I live in Delhi. So if you guys come to Delhi, please meet. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this one. Which of the following pairs of linear equation are consistent, inconsistent? If consistent, obtain or a baba solution graphically. So first we have to find they are consistent or not. And then we have to draw the graphs, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So let's just do the first question. Because graphical solution is very hectic. The algebraic one is easy. Yes. But they are saying obtain the solution graphically. So we will do that. Okay. So first question is. Right and 2x plus 2y uh, minus 10. Right. E yes. equals to 0. So this is what A1 is 1, B1 is 1, C1 is minus 5, right? A2 is what? 2, 2. B2 is what? B is 2. 2 and C2 is? Minus 10. Minus oh, 10, yeah, right. Right. So yeah. now let's just calculate a1 by a2, which is 1 by 2, right? Yes. B1 by b2 is what? 1 by 2 again. 1 by 2. And c1 by c2 is what? Minus 5 by 2. Minus. So this is again 1 by 2. Right. So this is this has many solutions. Yes. Sir. Right. So this yes. will coincide, right? Coincident lines. So let's, so this is consistent, right? So this is consistent. So now we will solve it graphically. Okay. Okay. So again, remember to plot the graph, we need what points? How many points? Two points, right? Yes. Yes, sir. To draw a straight line, we need two points. So pro for this line. So for x plus five, these are pretty small numbers. That's why I'm making the graph. If mm. I find uh, I remember last time big numbers, then I will give them. <laughs> okay, so x plus y is five, right? So yes, add x equals to zero. Zero. Y is what? Y is equal five. to five. Right. So point is what? Zero comma zero five. comma five. At y equals to zero. X equals five. Right. So this is yes. five comma zero. Okay. So two points acquired. Right. And for this equation, two x equals to two y. Right. Yeah. So at if at x equals to zero, two y is ten, 
right so this is 5 5 right. so y is 5 so this is what 0 comma 5 0 5 and at y equals to 0 we have what 2x is 10 right so again is 5 x is 5 so we see that these are the same points right yes yes sir. so if we draw the graph so 1 2 3 4 5 1 in the same line yes so this 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 will be in the same line right coinciding yes so we already know that this is what coinciding right yes a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 so these are coincident lines right and graphically we also see the same thing right so first is what 0 comma 5 so 0 comma 5 here right yes yes and 5 comma 0 is where so this is 5 and 0 is what here yes so this one so okay so this is the line right mm. so this is x plus y is 5 again the same points so again let's mm. write this way and this way so again this is what 2x plus 2y is 10 right mm. yes yes so this is the graphical solution right yes now let us uh, did you note it down uh, tala yeah, i'll write the thing i'll copy the okay graphic. okay so you will okay or i can share the notes if you want this note that i am making right sure Okay. I know, so, I know, I know. huh? No, nothing. Oh. Okay. So. Okay, so let's just do the next question, right? So again, Tala, your number, right? Yes. So, and if by any chance, if your luck is good and you got inconsistent, inconsistent one, then you will not mm. will not have to make the graph, right? Yes. And if at least once time. <laughs> If he gets a consistent one, then he will have to make a graph, right? Make a graph. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is this? Oh, this question, right? Yes. So, x minus y is what? Equals eight. Minus eight, right? Equals to zero. And three uh, x minus three y. Minus sixteen. So we can already see that this is a no solution. Okay. So a one is what? Lucky. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I know. B one is what? Minus one. Right. Minus one. Yes. Right. Yes. And a two is what? Three. And b two is three. Minus three minus, and C two is minus six. Minus six. Right. So A one by A two will be what? Right. Three. Yes. And B one by B two will be what? Minus one by minus three. So this is again one by. Three. And C one by C two is minus eight by sixteen minus sixteen. So one by two. Yes. So we have what a one by a two is equals to b one by b two, not equals to c one by c two, right? Yes. 
So, Tala, this is consistent or inconsistent? Sir, this is inconsistent. Okay, so lucky. Lucky yes. one. <laughs> right. So, no solution. Okay. Yes. Are you noting now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, Talha. Fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, Rizwan, Rizwan. Oh, sorry, Rizwan. Yes. So, let's just write the equation first, right? So, third is two x plus y. Minus six minus. is zero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Rizwan, what is A1? A1, A1. Hello. Ah, uh, uh, yes, sir. Two, two. Right, right, right. So B1 is what? 1 and C1 is uh, minus. Yes. Right. So and A2 is what? 4. Right. So B2 is? Minus 2. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> so minus. Uh, minus 4. Okay. So yes. Right. So this has a1 by A2 is what? 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. And B1 by B2? Uh, right. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. So we stop at here Minus because we see that A1. Solution. Yes. So this is consistent. Right. Yes, <laughs> so you'll have to make a graph, that. right? Yes, okay. So let's just move it this side, okay? So, what are the equations? Uh, 2x plus y equals 6, right? So, yes, first. Sir. At x equals to zero, right? Yes, sir. So y will be six, right? Mm. Yes. Sir. So this is what zero comma six. Mm. At y equals to zero, this will be what? Uh, six by two. Yes. So three, right? Three. So yes, three comma zero. Right. So we've got two points. Now for this equation. Right. Uh, yes, sir. So at x equals to 0, we have minus 2y two by 4. Yeah. So minus 2. two. Right. So y is minus 2. So we get what minus point? Two. 0, comma Zero minus, comma two. minus two. And uh, at y equals to 0, we get this 0. So, Tala is chill right now, right? <laughs> yes. So, 1. So, one. X, so, x equals to 1, which means okay. 1, 0, right? Yeah, 1 comes there. Yes. So, let's just draw the graph. In graph. Okay, so one, 
two, three, four, one, three, and okay. So this will be enough. And this is what? Yes, sir. Minus one, minus two, minus three. Yes, so this will be also enough. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Yes. And uh, minus two, right? So minus one, minus two, minus three, right? Yes. So this time we are also lucky that we are getting small numbers. Small right? numbers. Yes. But in the previous exercise, we were getting sixteen hundred or something like that, right? So zero six, right? So zero, and in y direction. How much do we have to move? Six. Six. So this point. So this yeah. is zero. Six. Right. And yes, three six. comma zero. So X in X direction three. Right side. So this one. Yes. So this is the line. Yes. Right. So this is what? Uh, this is two X plus Y Less. equals to six. And what about this one? So zero comma minus two. So this one. Minus two y axis and one comma zero. So one comma zero, right? Uh, yes, sir. So this line. So you see that this has a unique it solution. Is, yes. Right. So yes, from sir. the graph, we prove this point, right? And whatever the x, uh, the y, and the x value, so this is the solution, right? Whatever the yes. x and y. Two comma one. Two comma. I can't say that clearly because I don't know if this is right. Yes. Sir. From here, two is like this. So this is not a perfect graph, right? Because we don't have the equal. <laughs> so, so when you draw it in the proper graph, then you will find the correct answer, right? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. So. The last question, your ah, uh, so did uh, Talha left somehow? No, sir. No, sir, right here. So, okay, so the host left, right? The so, host. I am the host now. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, the fourth question is your homework, right? Okay. So, three homeworks. And uh, for practice papers, you can, so you have your account, right? In the Learn Your page. Yep. So you go into your 10th uh, maths and see the CBSC questions. So in there, you will find the topic wise questions, practice questions. I'm so sure. please try to do those questions. And uh, if you have any doubt or any problem in doing that, please. Please tell me, right? Okay, so those are practice questions. So uh, you have this NCRT book and then the CBC one. So the question that way that came into the CBSC paper, right? CBSC board. So we'll find those questions in there. And those are divided topic wise. So that will be more handful to you, right? So please try to solve, solve those questions okay or at least please uh, look into that uh, section and see if the questions are tough or easy okay and uh, let me okay did you guys understood Understand? yes yes so go into an account uh, log into the assignment part and uh, see the question 10th questions cbsc questions previous years questions so again, so this is your homework, right? Okay. Now this question is interesting. So word problem, right? So fifth question, and you guys help me in writing the what? Linear equation into variable, right? So let me just draw the diagram. And the first question in world problem, what I asked? 
So I always ask the same question and again again. What the what problem? Right. So what is the first question I ask in this what problem? Who are known? Right. Uh, yes. So Unknown. in this question, half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is four meter than its width. Right. So what is what are the two unknowns here? Hmm? Uh, uh, gardens length and its width width. Yes. So length. Right, uh, Talha? Length and its width. Length and uh, width, is it correct? Yes. Yes. So length and width are two ones. Right. So mm -hmm. this is the length and this is the width. Yes. This is again the length and this is the width. Right? Yes. So can you guys tell me what will be the perimeter of this Perimeter of this uh, rectangular garden. Right, perimeter is this length. Yes. So this is what? X plus Y plus X plus Y, right? Yes. Or you can you can remember the formula of rectangle. So two L plus B, yeah. right? Ah, okay. So this Easy. will so this will two X plus two Y. So two X plus Y, like the same formula, right? Yes. yes. So I could have used uh, this formula, but this looks right, right? So this <laughs> is more understandable, right? Now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So perimeter, half the perimeter of a rectangular garden is 36 meters, right? So half the perimeter. So this is the perimeter, right? So perimeter by 2, two. is what? 36. Right. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. yes. So 2x plus y by 2 is 36. Right. 36. Mm -hmm. So this cancels. So we have the first equation. Oh, I should write this way. So we have the first equation. Right. Yes. So yes. mission one accomplished. Yes. Without getting busted, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so the second mission, uh, whose length? Okay, so length is what? X. Length is four more four than meters. Width, yeah. Right. Yes. Sir. So second mission also accomplished, right? Oh, okay. So x minus y is 4. So this is the second equation. Right? Mm. Yes. Understood. Any any problem, any doubt? Um, no. That's it. Okay. So find the dimension of the garden. Right. So they are asking about to find the what? Dimension meaning the mm -hmm. length and breadth. So, uh, until now, we haven't uh, studied about or learned about the algebraic solution. So, so what, so what method we have to use? Right, we have to use the graphical solution. Yes. So, you guys do the graph because I see 36 here. <laughs> so, the trick would be what? The trick would be what? To plot in fourth separation. So 4, 16, mm -hmm. uh, 4, 8, 12 in this manner. Right? Yes. Right. So in this manner, this would be easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yes, or should I solve this graphically? Okay, one so let me do minutes. this uh, graphically and you do this one, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Is that okay with you? So this again, homework. <laughs> uh -huh. Another. Another. <laughs> Another one. So how many? One, two, three, or four? Yes, four questions. Please practice because if you guys practice, then that will make it more clear, right? Yes. Yes. So let's just do this part and get it over with, right? Mm. Because uh, algebraic solution is more uh, interesting one. Mm. This is boring okay so let's just find the solution x plus y is 36 okay at x equals to 0 y is what 36 right so we have 0 comma 36 and at y equals to 0 y is it 36 my perimeter should be what 20 or 10, right? Okay, so at y equals to 0, x is what? Again, 36. So in x direction, we have to make a 36 partitions and in y direction, we, are, we, are, we have to again, okay, 36, 0, right? So let's just write the second uh, equation. This one is easy. Why didn't they give this one and like this one? So, at x equals to 0, we have y equals to what? This one. 4. Ah. Minus 4. Right. Uh, yes. And at y equals to 0, we have x equals to 4. So, this is pretty good number. Yes. But this one, this one is terrible. Terrible number. <laughs> Okay, so how do I plot the graph? I will take very small steps, very small steps. So one, oh, four, eight, twelve, what, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, twenty eight. What, 32, 36, 40, right? And we don't have, achha, we have a minus one. So minus four, right? And yes. four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, right and this one we need we don't need right so now so one point so this point is what zero comma minus four and this point is what four comma zero right so this these ones these little <laughs> okay so zero thirty six is here right yes and thirty six zero is here so this one, okay, and uh, zero minus four is where, Tala? Yes, sir. Zero minus four is here, right? Yes. So this one and four comma zero, this one, mm. right? So this is the solution. So this is the solution. In graph paper, you plot this line and find the x and y. So this is somehow looking 16 and what? I don't know what is this. So this is the solution, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so as per our agreement, this hmm. was the last one was your homework, right? Homework. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so determine the coordinate of vertices of the triangle formed by lines 
these lines and the x axis okay okay so there there is a twist in this in this question okay so let me talk about the twist but uh, did you guys note it down this yes, this sir. part yes sir so at one point is one i was i selected the whole portion of this question and i remove you remember tala <laughs> yes sir <laughs> And I removed that directly, so the question got disappeared also. So <laughs> with this one, so that is that is why I only use this eraser only. So I got my lesson learned that day. Okay. So uh, let us go back to this last question. Okay, so, so draw a line. Okay, so you guys try this question, right? So let me give you a hint. So formed by these lines and x-axis, right? So this is the x-axis, okay? And uh, so this one, this one is the x-axis, right? This one. So this is the x-axis and let's say, oh, let me do this question, okay? okay so sir. one, so one question removed from the home line. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so this is the x-axis and let's just draw the graph of x minus one plus one. So x minus one is equals to minus one, right? So let's just uh, get the points. Okay, so at x equals to zero, we have what? We have Tala? Yes, sir. Uh, at x equals to zero, we have y value equal to one. Y one. Yes, so minus y minus one, so one, right. So we have a zero comma one point, right? Yes. And uh, for uh, y equals to zero, we have x equals to minus one, right? Mm. So we this, have, oh, so this is pretty simple, right? Zero, one, minus one, life is easy, okay? <laughs> and this one, so three x plus two y equals to 12, right? So at x equals to zero, we have two y equals to 12, so y is six. six. So what are the points? Zero comma six. And at y equals to zero, we have this one. So x equals to four, right? So four comma zero. So these are not some bad values, right? So let us just draw these lines. So six now. So let me. One, two, three, five, and six, seven. Right. And at Y, we go up to six. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, minus one, right? So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus one, minus two, minus three, right? So one point is zero comma one. So zero comma one, this point, right? Yes. And minus one zero is where? In the right side, left side, bottom, 
where left minus side. one left side right so this one. so this line right yes. understood yes and uh, so this is what line this is so this is x axis right and this is uh, so this is x minus 1 uh, equals to minus 1 right and uh, the other so 0 comma 6 this one and 4 comma 0 this one so this line right okay yes, sir. so when you draw it in the graph you will get exact numbers so this is a rough diagram right so we can add identify the triangle here right so this one is one straight line right this one is the other straight line right and this one is the straight line three lines right and you can see that they are forming a triangle right so this one Right. Oh, yes. This one. Okay. So, what Understood. if it. Uh, yes. What if? No, I thought. No, I was going to ask what if we take y axis. Okay. Like, so, yes. So, that is a very good question. Right. So, this is the y axis, right? Yes. So, this is the y axis and this one is one line right and this one is yes. the other line so what will be the triangle this will be the triangle right uh, yes so that is also a case but in this question right in this uh, yes. yes so in this question they are uh, asking about asking the x x axis right so x yes. axis and these two lines Understood. Okay. So we have shaded both the triangles, right? <laughs> and shade the triangular region and determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. So what are the vertices? What are the vertices? Guys, what are the vertices? No. This one, right? Yes. So yes. this one is a vertice this one is vertex and this one right three vertices of the triangles understood yes sir. so you already know that this is what one minus one comma zero this is four comma zero right yes now you just have to only calculate this one from the graph because i don't know their numbers right so you guys make the graphs and find about the vertices, right? So you understood the vertices, right? Yes. Yes. So this was the question. So they were telling us to draw the graph and determine the coordinates of the vertices of the of this triangle formed by these lines and the x-axis and shade the triangle. So mission accomplished, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so we have, we are what, five minutes, uh, so should I continue for five more minutes or we should start at Monday, right? What do you guys yes. suggest? Nice question, sir. Nice, yes, so this, this was a nice, that, that is, that is why I chose to <laughs> do this question, right? Yes. So, uh, do you guys do you guys want to continue or wrap up and meet at the le next class? Next class. Okay, so pack up, pack up everyone, pack up. Okay. <laughs>